Let's look at another exam question of the Doppler effect. The whistle of a train emits a sound wave of frequency of um, 2000 Hz. This is the frequency of the source, which is the train, uh, the whistle of a train. Now it says here, um, a stationary listener, that means the listener's velocity is zero, All right? A stationary listener measures a frequency of these emitted sound waves of 2080. So this is the frequency of the listener. This is the one that is observed by the stationary listener. Now it says the speed of the sound in the A is 340. This is just V. Now 6.1, it says name the phenomena responsible for the observed change in frequency. That's the Doppler effect, right? Now, it says here is the train moving away or towards the listener so what tells us you compare the two values the frequency of the listener and the frequency of the source so here what do we see here we see that the frequency of the listener is greater than the frequency of the of the source the frequency of the listener is greater than the frequency of the source because this is 2018 and this is 2000 so if it's that that means the the source is moving towards right so the answer here is what is towards now 6.3 it says calculated the speed of the train right so now in 6.3 since it's moving towards so see frequency of the lesson is equal to v plus because it's moving away velocity of the listener divided by v minus the velocity of the source times by the frequency of the source right so we substitute what we have we have the frequency we have the frequency of the listener is 2080 and the velocity of the source of the sound in the A is 340 plus the velocity of the um, listener. The velocity of the listener, the listener was stationary, it's zero. And then 340 again minus the velocity of the source is the one that we want, the frequency of the of the source is 2000 we substitute 2000 there and then guys anything else here it's mets right it's going to be mets so what are we going to do since our unknown is in this side the unknown is in this side so we'll divide by here yeah, to make our life easy we'll divide by 2000 2000 or we'll multiply by uh, 1 over 2,000, this and this will cancel, right? And then we're going to have um, 340 divided by 340 minus Vs is equal to 20, 2080 and divide by 2,000. And then we cross multiply the right? We cross multiply. So when we cross multiply, we'll have... 340 times by 2000 and then equal to we'll cross multiply by that so guys if you have a better method there you can do it this is no longer physics now it's mathematics so we'll divide by so our unknown here it's in this side so we'll divide by 2000 2080 uh, 2080 both sides and then you will have 340 um, minus vs is equal to this okay let me copy it i'm not going to write it again um we have that there so what are we going to do now what are we going to do we're going to transpose we're going to take and this to this side and we take this to this side so basically what are we going to have what are we going to have there so we're going to have this minus of it um yeah so it's going to be minus that and the 340 minus that
so we'll have vs there and therefore our vs is equal to so if i punch the entire thing in the calculator um so it will be 340 minus uh, 340 um, times by 2000 divided by 20,080. So the answer here, it's 13,08 meter per second. I just punched this entire thing in the calculator. And it helps, guys, to keep your answers like this, not to round off while you are not done with your final answer. All right. Okay. Now let's answer the last question. The last question it says here, will the frequency observed by the passenger sitting in the train be greater than or equal to or smaller than 2000 or explain your answer so my answer here it will be equal to it will be equal to equal to what it will be equal to 2000 2000 heads guys as i've mentioned in the previous video if you're in the same you are moving with the same velocity as the source you are inside the source um, there's no change in velocity. That means your frequency will be the same. So here, your answer here, you see there is no difference in their velocities. Their velocities. There's no difference in their velocities. Uh, and their velocity is okay let's leave it like that okay fine oh you can say the the passenger is moving with the same velocity of the of the train i hope that makes sense guys cheers bye